Hey what's up guys, Eskizu here and welcome to episode 12 of Skin Into Glory. Yes guys, we're finally back again after I had some uh, some issues as I've actually commented before on a previous episode, I think from Skill Into Glory or from Fatal, I'm not too sure, which was somewhere last week. Um, I've been having some issues with my PC, hence why this is so late. This is actually recorded last week, but... I just I just wasn't be able to edit, which was just really really frustrating. Hence, why there weren't really that many uploads. But um, yeah, hopefully they will be back again this week, as I've got a lot of stuff recorded, and uh, hopefully I'm able to edit them as soon as possible as well. So um, yeah, in the previous episode, we actually did make two new skill squads. In case you haven't seen them, then uh, you can check them out if you want to. But uh, we decided to play a game with one of them, which I think is the uh, four three two one skill squad with the likes of Chalanoglu and also uh, Quadrado. But uh, right now we're currently in Division Six, obviously. Uh, my aim is to get out of this division as soon as possible and then move on to the next division. Uh, right now, we've actually only have two points after two games. We uh, we drew two. So uh, definitely in this episode, I really want to at least get some points and maybe even secure promotion. But um, yeah, anyway, we start off this game really good against a pretty decent team as well. Uh, obviously, with some great skill moves, as you saw before with Quadrado. That shot wasn't really the greatest. Here with El Shirabi too. Then uh, we get another chance early on with Chalanoglu. A great save there from his goalkeeper as well. So the first half was definitely for us created a lot of chances. Then uh, in the 30th minute, Chalanoglu here actually tried to pass it off to some of the strikers. But for some reason, it was like just straight ahead of him. He went through and actually scored. And it is a similar goal. I actually scored... Um, or at least scored, I'm not too sure if I scored it, but I had a similar situation at the capture event, if you remember, with Vardy. I actually uh, leave a link in the description to that video so you can check it out. But um, yeah, it's kind of weird that you can actually like pass to yourself, if that makes sense. But uh, anyway, after we actually made a 1-0 in the game, it went really, really quick. Within a few minutes, we were already 3-0 up and uh, it was actually going very, very well. Uh, you can see here as well, we probably could have made it 4-0 here with Muriel, our striker. But uh, unfortunately, we did hit the post. Then into the second half, my aim was to score some some nicer goals, I guess. Uh, here's some uh, great stuff with Quadrado. Not really the nicest looking, but um, yeah, we do get a shot at which is goalkeeper saves as well. Then 86 minute, he does get himself a goal back here with Benzema from a corner. But uh, it wasn't enough for him to completely get back into the game. And uh, we secured the first win in Division 6. So a uh, great start to this episode. Then uh, after that, I actually did sell on some more players, as you can see right there, from uh, the previous squad we actually did have before this one. Then uh, after that, I decided to switch teams to the other one. The other one we made in the previous episode, 4-3-3 skill team, mainly because of some injuries. And um, yeah, I think the injuries right now are fixed because uh, there has been an update which EA released. But as I said before, this was actually recorded before that update I think so um, yeah the injury stuff is, uh, is still a thing from uh, from the gameplay you will see in I think the upcoming uh, days but uh, anyway into the next game we go we came against a team with a once to what version of uh, Morata and uh, we start off amazing with a really nice goal from Musonda I think it is actually uh, one of the first few games I used him in and uh, he scored a really really nice goal so I was definitely happy that uh, that he played so well in this first game already so um, yeah we continue on 35th minute again Musonda here on the ball Went with some skill moves, unfortunately we lost the ball and uh, my opponent went on the counter-attack straight away. He had a lot of space on the midfield so I decided to set some pressure with two defenders which was really, really stupid because Nani became free and um, yeah, he made a 1-1 with a really, really poor shot I felt. I definitely think the goalkeeper should have said it, but um, yeah, it went in. 1-1 it was. Then into the second half, straight from kickoff, we went on the attack with Pato and Arda. Really nice link up between both players. And it was Arda making it 2-1. A great goal there for us to uh, give ourselves the lead back in the game. And then in the 90th minute, you can see I did the exact same thing. Set a lot of pressure and yeah, he came with a lot of players forward. And he scored with Andras Iniesta to make it 2-2. You can see there was so much space which was just so stupid to give away and um, yeah, really annoying to concede a goal that late in the game. So um, yeah, since it was like sort of extra time in the 90th minute, I decided to make some changes, bring on El Sharawi and also Nyang since they both had like full fitness and um, yeah, just bringing on players like them with full fitness that late in the game definitely helps in your favor. So you can see right there, he played a bit aggressive with a lot of slide tackles, obviously didn't want me to score. Then he actually looked like uh, he was actually going through it there with Nani, but a great tackle from our defender. Then uh, we played it on through here, two Patos inside the box. Then goes with a weak foot shot across goal, makes it 3-2 in the 90th minute as well. Just like my opponent did, he actually scored the equalizer and uh, we got a goal back straight away. So he secured another win in Division 6 and uh, this was definitely the one I, uh, I felt was like the most important one because it looked like we were going to draw this game. 
But um, yeah, great way in the end for us. So um, yeah, we move on to what will be the final game of the episode. Coming up against a 4-1-2-1-2 Premier League side with some uh, really, really good players in this team. So a strong team to play against uh, for the final game today. And uh, we started things off in the 10th minute. I completely messed up a skill move with Carrillo, but I sort of made up for it with a cheeky flick. Uh, then we pick it up here with Pato. Went with a weak foot shot, which, which was terrible this time. And um, yeah, we kind of gave away a chance. Probably should have taken a bit more time there. Then uh, in the 19th minute, Pato going through there again with some great skill moves. Beats two defenders there. Then he goes with a great ball to a fake shot to cut inside for a shot a great tackle there from him as well so um, yeah also in this game we start off really really well with some good chances 30 second minute a chance there with Arda to run a good save there from Begovic then a minute later from that corner we do get another chance there with Carrillo a great volley and it was actually Kieran Gibbs who uh, cleared the ball off the line very very annoying to um, basically not score in the first half and you can guess it already, my opponent actually did score from his first kind of proper attack, I guess. It was a really nice goal, I have to say, but um, it was really frustrating giving a goal uh, away at the end of the first half, even though we were completely dominating. So, um, yeah, my aim, of course, in the second half was to get back into the game, but it was just so, so annoying because he, he played a bit more defensive uh, compared to what he did in the first half. And you can see as well a big chance where his goalkeeper just completely messed up. I actually took a shot with Korea, which ended up being a weird cross, and um, I tried to, like, get the most out of it but couldn't really create a proper chance then in the 88th minute again I decided to bring on Ni Young and you can see right there his defenders were completely dead fitness wise so we took advantage of it here with Ni Young we ran through but I think we did a little bit too fast because his goalkeeper came out and uh, we eventually lost the ball in the end then uh, from a throw actually he tried to reach to his attackers he messed up we pick it up here again with Ni Young we took some time here we go for a final shot and again, it is freaking Begovic to save it. And um, that is unfortunately how the game ended. So also in the second half, we probably at least could have made it 1-1. You can see from the stats, we dominated. He had a bit more possession, but um, yeah, it was really, really annoying to lose a game uh, that way, basically. But um, that is FIFA for you. Sometimes luck is on your side. Sometimes it, it is against you. And um, you probably have all experienced it yourself. But anyway, guys, that is going to be the end. Hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.